Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I am going to show you customizing view imports or CS HTML for tag helpers. Actually, uh, I want to uh, customize my view imports uh, for the tag helpers. There are five way to customize your tag helper. Uh, the first one is search all tag helpers in a given namespace. A one assembly having multiple namespace and you want to search all the uh, tag helpers so you can use uh, looking like this uh, so uh, in which we have two tag helpers in a particular directory like the email directory we have a email tag helper with contain mm, the email format okay and uh, the another one is the formatting uh, directory uh, contain a formatting uh, looking like a uh, bold date times okay so how to use uh, all the tag helpers here uh, are two tag helpers and I want to use the first one search all tag helpers in a given namespace so here we have a namespace is ASP.NET Core Tutorials and I want to use all the tag helpers so in the about.cs files here we have the one is my email to email is a, uh, equals to info so here the first tag helper you can pick my email oops there is error because check again your view imports or CSS gmail file here we have comment section uh, so use add tag helpers add tag helpers and use a strict sign for all the tag helpers in a given assembly and the assembly name is ASP.NET Core Tutorials okay there is and the tag helper the T is capital okay so you can use all the tag helpers which is included in ASP.NET Core assembly so by using the strict sign so you can use again save it close it and again open the about.cshtml file and use email format my email there is my email and to mail is info and use info so I want open email tag helper here is the tag name is my email and attribute is name is to email picking like this my email is to email is attribute and attribute parameter is info pass to that variable that is mail to okay that is defined in there and set attribute by using attributes dot set attribute method the property or you can say the attribute value is href so here is the tag name is a so uh, the my email is replaced with the tag name a and the attribute is href and the value is mail to and mail to and in mail to we have info at the rate of outlook.com looking like this and uh, here also I want to use formatting tag helper so you can use format tag there is no attribute and no uh, para, uh, no public properties there there is no public property and in which we have single output method tag name is strong replace with the uh, your format tag is replaced with the strong tag and date time is print so if you want to access all tag helpers in a given namespace then you must to use in imports.cshtml file you import .cshtml file use a strict sign you can check it for the about section <clears throat> it's pretty simple uh, you can design your code uh, quickly and easily uh, can check it there is info with the email format info at the rate of outlook.com and similarly we have that okay now oops something this mistake email tag helper is there is not mail to uh, 
actually mm, okay in a mail to section we have info at the rate of okay that's fine now comes to the section uh, the second one is unique or the wild card search in a given namespace if you want to access only one namespace in a given assembly looking uh, if you want to access only email tag helper rather than the formatting tag helper so must to use the name of the tag helping suppose you want to access only formatting tag helper then must to use wildcard with the full namespace so here you can use the full namespace okay so uh, here uh, email formatting tag helper is not working in about.cshtml file because here we have two formatting is there for the e my email and the format tag but in the view import.cshtml file i looking only formatting not the email so email is not working in about.cshtml file you can check it again You can check there is working um, in the strong but email is not working your hyperlink is not working okay so um, if you unique or wildcard search in a given namespace so you can use there is and the another one is you can use view import at directory level i mean to say that uh, if you want to access uh, in the directory level then you can add view import file in your directory uh, like i want to use view import at uh, home directory so you can add a new item and view imports that file view import or cshtml file at in the home directory and in the home directory you can add this one control c and control v so in the home directory must to add the tag helper class Mm, and uh, you can use it at that directory level okay so ignore this if you use area then you can must to use this pattern okay so here we have not uh, area concept so i delete it from the home directory okay so the next one is uh, remove tag helper how to remove the tag helper from the view imports so you can use this one control c and control v all the tag helper in the given assembly is removed so there is not working you can check it again by using remove tag helpers so uh, by using remove tag helper is not working there is not print in the date pattern and info is not working so using the remove tag helper you can remove the all the tag helpers or uh, or you can uh, remove the particular tag helper also okay if you want to use a tag prefix you can use the tag prefix looking like this so oops at the rate of tag prefix tag h uh, tag helper actually tag helper prefix uh, tag helper prefix and i use double quotation pre this tag okay <clears throat> so you can use tag pre helper and remove the tag helper in the formatting toolbar so about.cshtml you can use pre tag helper okay pre tag helper email format tag yeah looking like this and you command this because it's not working in the view import there is only one assembly is applied for the formatting so email is not thank you very much and please 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 uh, subscribe my channel uh, 
I request you please subscribe my channel and I will provide you a better video tutorial of ASP.NET Core and Tag Helper also. Thank you very much again.